Okay, let's now prove that the subgroup of uh, invertible matrices given by triangular matrices is solvable. So we describe uh, the group of upper triangular, triangular matrices, let's call it BR, as the set of matrices of the form, say, Here are some elements on the diagonal and anything here. So these, of course, as a subgroup of invertible matrices, R by R, with coefficients in any field, K. Of course, one could also choose the subgroup of lower triangular matrices, uh, the two are isomorphic, but usually people work with upper triangular matrices. So, yeah, this is the statement. This group is solvable. So, I want to prove this by um, using a simple fact but quite uh, quite useful, which is the following. To show that the G that the group G is uh, solvable is enough to find a subgroup, say N, and I will denote with this arrow an inclusion or an injective map, so an inclusion of uh, subgroups, such that say this is normal and solvable and such that also the quotient G by this normal subgroup is uh, solvable. So there is here a surjective morphism of group. Then whenever you have such a situation uh, the group G so in the middle has to be also solvable. This is the standard result. So this is the strategy we want to use and uh, for our group BR the first step is to find a candidate for this uh, normals, normal solvable subgroup. So here is my candidate. Let's consider the group of uh, upper triangular matrices with unit diagonal. I will denote it by NR to keep track of the dimension here. Let's call them U for unit. In other words, we have O1s on the diagonal and above anything. So this is obviously a subgroup. of triangular matrices. So now we have to show three things. The first is that this subgroup is actually normal. In BR. So let's do it explicitly. We uh, fix, say, say, for any matrix A triangular matrices, triangular matrix and uh, matrix U in NR, so as, as here, when we compute, for example, A times U to be a matrix of the form
So here with these lines, uh, maybe I should replace them with um, asterisk. I mean anything above the diagonal. And this is of course, um, well, the diagonals multiply simply like this. So we have the elements here on the diagonal and then some other stuff above. So this is the form, uh, the general form of such a product. On the other hand, if I compute u, say, times this a minus 1, then I have something that looks like this, multiplied, uh, well, the, the inverse of a diagonal, uh, sorry, of a triangular matrix, matrix has uh, the inverses of the elements on the diagonal. So here it would be something like this, with some stuff on top, of course. And this, by, by the same rule, it will be equal to a11 inverse, and all these inverses on the diagonal, and stuff on top. So you see by these two, by, by how they behave, these matrices, these multiplications, that it's clear then uh, that uh, if I do A times U times A minus 1 for any matrix, triangular matrix A, then I get something of the form. So the two, then the two diagonals multiply and become one. Here is always zero, of course, and here is something upstairs. So this is an element um, of our subgroup NR. Okay, so this shows that this uh, subgroup N and R is normal in BR. The next thing we show well, we take a look at the quotient. We want to show eventually that this is solvable. But, okay, so an element in the quotient, here we are up to an action of nr. We are sending, we can send to zero all the elements above the diagonal. And, um, we cannot, so what we are left with are the uh, matrices with elements only on the diagonal. So this is the set of diagonal matrices. In particular, it's an abelian group. and therefore uh, solvable, trivially solvable. So let's do the last step now, which is to show that uh, this NR, this normal subgroup, is solvable. This is my claim. So we will prove this actually by induction. So we use induction on R. The case R equal to mm, 1, say, being clear, since trivial, um, since N, N1 would be an, a trivial group. So here we use um, to show the induction step, to use uh, so to apply the induction step, step we will uh, repeat uh, the same strategy. In other words, we want to find some subgroup, say H R of N R, which is normal and solvable, 
and such that also the quotient of NR in this subgroup is solvable. So here is my my choice. Um, consider the subgroup of matrices which are uh, of this form. So they are block matrices where the first part is just the identity matrix of size R minus 1. Here it is 0 since of course we want a, a subgroup of, of uh, upper triangular matrices and then one, we want in the end a subgroup of NR, and anything, any vector, uh, say here x1, x uh, r minus 1, on this last column. So this is a subset, at least clearly, of NR. So let's let's check that it is in fact. Um, a subgroup. Suppose I have two such matrices. So suppose I have now here a matrix with y1, yr minus 1, then uh, I can do this, uh, if you want, by block multiplication. The first block here multiplies this block, so of course I get the identity, and then uh, I have, for example, say the first element uh, here would be the first line of this matrix uh, multiplied by the last uh, column vector here, so uh, here we have only these two elements non-zero, and here we have, so we would get the 1, which multiplies y1, and x1, which multiplies 1. So we have x1 plus y1. And similarly, you can check very easily that this is just uh, the rule. So. In other words, um, what we have is that this is a subgroup and it's also clearly abelian. If you want HR, we just proved that HR is isomorphic to uh, an additive group, which is uh, R minus one copies of the field K as an additive group. So now to conclude, we need to provide the same, uh, to prove the same things for H, na namely, we have to check that H R is a normal subgroup of uh, an R. This I will leave you, I will leave it to you to check, please. For example, it's quite immediate if you use block multiplic multiplication for matrices. Um, and then, okay, once this is established, we take a look at the quotient uh, and R by HR. So what are these matrices? This R would be isomorphic to matrices of the form, say, as in NR, uh, so uh, upper triangular with ones on the diagonal. Let's divide these into blocks. And here we have zero. Now, up to the action of um, HR, here we can always uh, push element to zero on over all the the whole um, the whole column here except of course the last the last element and while so the free elements will be just 
uh, on top of this smaller diagonal here. In other words, we have a block matrix looking like this, where this block here is an element in, uh, well, it is an upper um, triangular matrix of size r minus 1 and 1 on the diagonal, so an element of n r minus 1. In other words, this is isomorphic to n r minus 1. And this, um, this group is uh, solvable by induction hypothesis. Therefore, we can conclude that this quotient here is solvable and so our uh, full argument concludes the proof of the fact that nr is solvable.